Afternoon guys, I mean the blue boy, I've got him up at uh, the cemetery there, he's just had a good workout, we take him home, but um, yeah, big shout out to all the new subscribers guys, thanks very much, it means a lot to me and a lot for the support I've got in the last week there, what a wee blip, just, just mentally, but yeah, back on top of things, back on the again, and um, oof, that one's strong, so on that one guys, um, Gav, be over in the Fife, smash the recovery. Best of luck to you, mate. You're doing well, you're doing awesome, mate. And, uh, proud of you. You've got your wee Van de Costa over there. Big shout out, Van de. Lovely people. A wee King Castro, there you go. Wee Castro. Wee channel. Go on, I'm gonna have a look, guys. There's a lot of good wee channels out there, guys. And, I'm um, just trying to show my support back to certain ones. All know about AC Shine Light and that. Uh, here on my eyes, always will be, was there for me last year when I was getting a kite and he bounced back. I had my wee relapse and he was there to support me through it. So there, there you go, massive, massive. It goes without saying, guys, and us guys will always be there for each other. Yeah, um, on that one. Now you be struggling, just go and speak. Try and get on there some fresh air, guys. It's an it's a answer, definitely. I'll get home, I've got my grandchildren, just put a video up there, playing on the motorbikes and all the rest of that, and uh, his wee shout outs, Dre, you know? <laughs> now he's challenging uh, uh, the Tate brothers. He probably doesn't even know who they are until I show him. And then he surprises me sometimes. Oh, I know who he is, Grandad. Wow, eye opener. But there you go, guys. Um, I said I'd start telling real stories, two stories of my past, because for some reason YouTube wants drama, eh? Not that I'm thriving on that or anything, but I'm trying to tell it for a reason to keep the young ones away from making mistakes I made, guys, and I'm about to stop one young person going to prison there. It's been worth a while, hasn't it? Definitely. So I'll finish this one with a story today of uh, when I was working on the security on the pub, local pub up on uh, the area I was brought on the whole time. And uh, it was a rough pub, yeah, and had its moments. Actually, there was a, a good pal of mine, a friend of mine, murdered on that door, stabbed to death. So there you go, you can see the nature of the beast I'm talking about. And these blades are involved, and there's naughty people carrying them, and anything could happen, guys. Well, this one was a bit more severe. This is a handgun involved in this one, guys, and it's not what you get every Sunday at this area. It comes through the lounge, and it's parked with the females, and karaoke, and it's heavy duty. It's that busy, we've actually got three doormen on it that day, there you go. And I goes through the lounge, I'm doing my wanders, I always went on patrol guys, right? Same as you cleared away the empty glasses and that, not your pot like that, you're putting away potential weapons. Pints, a table with six empty glasses on it, or bottles and that, you just get them up to the barmaids, get them away so there's no of these things lying about guys to be thrown as missiles. Tricks of the trade I call that. And, um, communicating with your, your locals and, and, and knowing the time of day what's going on, knowing your environment. And sure as hell, I spot a big lad come in the, the door, because there's two entrances into this pub. And um, I know him well, I know him, and I'm going to say his name because he's passed away now, God rest him, John, John Wallace, old John. He was a right hand full back in the day. And his son is on the go, and his son's a good pal of mine. There you go, young John. Shout out, mate. A lot of time with me. And anyway, I sees him come in, he's on the hunt for someone and straight away I spot the bulge at the back. I know he's got something. I actually thought it was a hammer at first. And um, yeah, he's denim jacket, it's not doing a good job of hiding that, put it that way. Probably done him a big favour. He went into the cubicles, boom, I'm right in behind him. He's just away, got a push, slam him into the rhino, boom, retrieve the handgun. It's a revolver, I know what I'm doing with it. Click a little bit, it's got two rounds in it, guys, two live rounds. I jet them, in my hand, I get them, and he starts fucking putting his dukes up because I've slammed him into there, and I explain to him, John, it ain't fucking happening, mate. It ain't happening. You'll get it when you leave the pub, you're welcome, I'll we'll have a drink, mate. I'm not throwing you out, I'm down you. This ain't going down in here, it ain't happening. Anyway, I calm him down, he decides to have a pint. And I go down and put it in the safe for safekeeping, guys. Got the two rooms in my pocket. And I say, right, give us the name. He tells us the name of the guy he's looking for. Luckily, I say, he ain't in there, and he wasn't. So, after about 20 minutes, he decides he's leaving. And up down and get that, put it in a poly bag, clean it, obviously. Dab it down, get the rounds, 
all the stuff, my fingerprints, and give them that bag, which was turned inside, and, and a poly bag, because hey, my fucking dad's going anywhere near, that's for a fact. Anyway, away he goes, and to my knowledge, nothing ever happened with the guy that you had the problem with, but it just shows you, drink involved, anything could have happened, and if you would have bumped into him that day or night, anything could have happened. So it goes to show you guys, wasn't a blade, it was a firearm, it was an old revolver. So, good rest of my way, good darling old John. And, um, yeah, and our true story, that one. Just things we take for granted, guys, eh? And just another day in the life of me, him, or the old Tasman back in the day. But other people would look at that and say, fucking hell, that's a bit extreme. And it is when you're going to work to produce a wage on the table to feed your family. Yeah, that is, is extreme. So it's a lovely day, guys. We got back for the grandchildren and have a good night. So, peace out. Shout out to all the guys with a show with the three channels and thanks for all the new subscribers, boys. Smash the like and subscribe. We get 2,000, we'll do some lives and we'll get it going, eh? Peace out. Boom. Good boy, Mr. No Comment, have you anything to say, mate? Nah. We'll put that there for your paws. Okay, peace out. Let's go and get you some water. Peace out. Oh, by the way, we've got a wee fox, mate. We've got Basil. Basil's on, uh, I'm trying to get him into the garden and feed him, but we've got a new wee fox, guys, so keep your poster on that one. Basil brush, hey, bro. I hope he's not going to get your face, because you've got a claw mark there. That'll be the pussy cut again. Peace out, guys. Boom.